call the honourable member for Braddon. Well, thank you, Deputy Speaker. When I was elected in 2013, there was no greater issue on the electorate's mind than fixing Tasmania's shipping and helping our businesses on a level playing field with mainland businesses when it comes to exports. I committed, Mr Deputy Speaker, to fixing the Tasmanian freight equalisation scheme, and I have delivered. $203 million over four years to expand the scheme to include going to markets not currently covered uh, by the TFES. This government is doing everything it can to enable Tasmanian businesses to grow, to create employment and to capitalise on the three landmark, landmark free trade agreements finalised under our watch. Now, while this government is enabling business in Tasmania, those opposite were economic vandals in Tasmania and they continue to be economic vandals even in opposition. After six years of trashing the joint, there was nothing quite so loud two Fridays ago, the sounds of silence from those opposite. There was not a peep out of the ALP, not a statement from the opposition leader, not a peep out of my tagger, Senator Ann Urquhart, or her colleagues. They have no ticker, Mr Deputy Speaker, no willingness to fight for the Tasmanian people or business, and now in opposition they're just as weak and just as silent. Where was the shadow minister for regional development? Where was the shadow minister for transport? Where was Senator Urquhart? The silence was deafening, and if this is the response of those opposite to an economic game-changing policy like the TFS, I, I can't even begin to imagine what it would be like for them back 